Hi everyone, this is Swami Jit Desai. Welcome back to another video in my channel. I joined as an SD2 in Amazon uh, a couple of years back and then after working some time as an SD2, I decided to transition from being an SDE to being an engineering manager, software development manager, hiring manager, just as you want to give your name. Now, I'm going to transition uh, full-time working as an engineering manager in Amazon. I have spent around about seven and a half months now. Uh, at the time of shooting the video and hence i decided to basically you know record my experience as working as an engineering manager uh, in a fan company give you an update whether or not it was a good decision for me till now how i'm feeling about it uh, i want to tell you about what are the major differences between working as a software development engineer and working as an engineering manager if you want to know what is the expectation out of an engineering manager and whether or not this kind of a transition is for you, then you have come to the right video. In this video, I will discuss about all of that and also discuss and tell whether or not I'm satisfied with the role that I'm doing, if I'm disappointed a bit or not, everything about this. But before starting, I must say the like target of this video is 1.5 thousand likes. So go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and hit the no notification bell. Share this video among your friends and peers and definitely it will help them a lot to understand what is the engineering manager, what is the expectation, how it differs, what are the similarities and whether or not you should do it. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, as I say, and you know, many people do tell uh, these things that manager do and they don't do any work, or they just do meeting hi karte hai, aur kuch kaam nahi karte. To, to clarify that and to put in one word or one sentence, that is that this is not the truth. And to be honest, from my personal experience till now, what I have felt is the amount of work that I have to do as a software engineer was comparatively lesser than the amount of work that I am doing right now as uh, an engineering manager. I know it's an apples to orange comparison or I say directly upon compare nahi kar sakte, but at least from my point of view, I can experience ke baare mein to bata hi sakta So in this particular video, we will take my software engineering experience ko lenge and my engineering manager ke experience ko lenge and on that basis, we will compare a little to understand ki expectations kaise change hoti hai as you move from one particular role to another particular role and how much truth is in this that as an engineering manager or as a manager for that matter you don't have to work much so let's get right into it the major difference which anyone notices that being a software engineer you work as an IC which is individual contributor and you work according to a fixed plan these plans are generally two week plans and are known as sprint plans and there is no plan per se that any manager has not for their day to day work now if you look outside that you have to software engineers ko pura plan ke hisab se work karke uh, time allocate karke kaam karna padta hai but as a manager you don't have that plan at all to bahut hi achhi baat hai however to just burst your bubble this is not the case in fact it is the opposite as a software engineer since you work according to a plan you know ki ek 10 din ke sprint mein matlab 10 working days mein aap kitne din kaam karoge kitni din aapki chutti hogi kitne ghante kaam karoge aur usi hisab se aap apna kaam plan karoge so you have everything charted out for you for the next 2 weeks at least but as an engineering manager you do not get that liberty aapka koi sprint plan hota nahi hai you work according to the deadlines given to you by senior managers leadership of the company and as a result of which, चाहे आप जितनी भी छुट्टी ले लो, काम आपको उसी दिन ही खत्म करना है. Hence, you generally end up working in your off days as well. As a result, I I would say, लोगों को ऐसा लगता है कि यार एक manager आराम से छुट्टी ले सकता है, कोई दिक्कत नहीं होती है, तो ये बिल्कुल भी सच नहीं है. Hence, I would say that working according to a sprint as an individual contributor, as a software engineer, is much better with respect to the work hours that you have to put in in comparison to an engineering manager. As an engineering manager, you don't code, for sure. That is obviously not part of your job role, which as a software engineer is your bread and butter. Having said that, the expectation out of an engineering manager is ki wo apne system ko जैसा कोड चल रहा है जैसा प्रोडक्ट चल रहा है उसके टेक को बहुत ही अच्छी तरीके से जाने बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली यू विल बी अ टेक लीडर एंड यू हैव टू लीड फ्रॉम द फ्रंट अब इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट द कोड ऑन अ डे टू डे बेसिस इट इज मच 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 इजियर टू रिटेन दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इन योर हेड टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोडक्ट इन अ मच बेटर मैनर 
in comparison to a person who is not looking at the code on a day to day basis and still has to retain all of those information still has to understand the product from its core as a result i must say understanding from a technical point of view for an engineering manager is relatively difficult because of the fact that that particular person is not looking at the code on a day to day basis and hence it is definitely more challenging as an engineering manager than it is for a software engineer as a software engineer jaisa ki kaha tha right ek schedule hota hai ek plan hota hai at any given point in time you are typically working on one project or at max two projects and you know exactly what you have to do apart from that your entire performance will be calibrated by the work that you are putting in which you have entire control on however in stark contrast as an engineering manager you cannot work according to plan every day is different every day you are faced with a new challenge for that matter and the problem is you are not only working on multiple different projects at the same time multiple different aspects of it you are working on as a result you have to constantly context switch between one thing to another you have to constantly juggle things in your head not only this your performance is not calibrated entirely by what you are doing but also a large part of it is calibrated by how your team is performing so as an engineering manager it is extremely important for you to make sure that your team is delivering up to the standards hence your performance is tied up with work that someone else is doing which you have minimal control of so if you are someone who likes to have that control on on your life then definitely engineering manager is not a role for you for sure एक चीज जो मेरे को आफ्टर बिकमिंग एन इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर रियलाइज हुई कि उसके पहले आई यूज टू थिंक की आई राइट वेरी वेल आई स्पीक वेरी वेल एंड बहुत उन्हें अब यूट्यूब वीडियोज की वजह से भी पार्टली एंड उसके पहले भी आई यूज टू यू नो टेक पार्ट इन ऑल दीज यू नो डिबेट एंड एक्सटेम्पोर कॉम्पिटिशन हाउ एवर आफ्टर बिकमिंग एन इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर एंड आफ्टर राइटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स क्योंकि ट्रस्ट मी बींग एन इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर यू हैव टू राइट अ लॉट अ लॉट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स आई केम टू रियलाइज दैट आई माइट नॉट बी एज गुड ऑफ अ writer as i thought i was so definitely that is a huge 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 you know difference uh, from a point of view of a software engineer jahan pe agar aap itne acche writer nahi bhi ho to bhi chal jata hai koi dikkat wali baat nahi hoti hai ya agar aap itne acche se bol nahi pate ho communicate nahi kar pate ho to bhi kuch had tak chal jata hai at a certain level however from an engineering manager point of view it is like super important and super critical that you can speak well and you write well and one very important thing that you as an engineering manager jo aapko face karna hi padega is people management right people will be reporting to you and you have to manage them and iske kai sare aspect hote hai uh, from a managing perspective right you have to manage the people who will be reporting to you you have to manage uh, the people you report to and uh, correspondingly you have to maintain that balance between uh, them as well uh, ek to business ki priorities hongi ki hame kuch kuch cheeze karni hai so that the business grows uske sath sath ek uh, aapke टीम की प्रायोरिटीज होगी किसी किसी को प्रमोट करना रहेगा जिसकी वजह से हमें कुछ टाइप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स उनको देने पड़ेंगे निकालने पड़ेंगे सो दैट दे गेट प्रमोटेड क्योंकि एज अ मैनेजर राइट इफ योर टीम डज वेल इफ योर टीम ग्रोस देन करस्पॉन्डिंगली यू ग्रो एज वेल सो यू हैव टू वर्क वेरी हार्ड फॉर योर टीम फॉर दैट मैटर जितना हो सकता है अपनी टीम को ग्रो करने के लिए सेल्फलेस भी आपको काम करना पड़ेगा बट हैविंग सेड दैट आप फिर भी अपने टीम से गाली तो खाओगे सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज आई थिंक सो इट्स यूनिवर्सल आउट देर कि आप जितना भी अच्छा करो जितना भी अपने टीम के लिए uh, काम करो अल्टीमेटली एट द एंड ऑफ द डे गाली आपको खानी है सो एज एन इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस फैक्ट कि कुछ भी हो पीपल आर कॉम्प्लेक्स बींग्स पीपल Uh, have different needs uh, and react to problems very differently and you as an engineering manager is your responsibility to understand those needs and facilitate your team so that they can grow uh, from work life balance perspective bhi at least mere experience ke point of view se as an engineering manager your work life balance typically tends to be a not so good with respect to that of an sde um abhi this is partly because of the fact that as an sd you can plan things right uh, jaise ki for example in my team as well as in all of the teams that i have worked till now uh, as an sd first and foremost your task with designing that entire project ek baar design ho jata hai to you yourself only give the estimate of all of the work that is present there now since you are giving estimate for all of the work that is present there आप ऑब्वियसली सोच समझ के ही एस्टिमेट दो ऐसा रैंडम एस्टिमेट्स तो नहीं दोगे राइट एंड सिंस यू आर द ओनर फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट यू देन स्टार्ट विद द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड करस्पॉन्डिंगली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एस्टिमेट्स दैट यू हैव गिवन आप उस काम को कंप्लीट करते हो 
उसके अलावा सारी चीज़ें प्लान रहती है एंड स्प्रिंट बाई स्प्रिंट जैसा भी आपको काम करना होता है जैसा भी छुट्टी लेनी होती है उस हिसाब से आप अपना काम प्लान uh, करते हो एक पर्टिकुलर स्प्रिंट में एंड करते जाते हो वेर एज एज एन इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर इट्स नॉट द केस देर इज़ नो प्लान यू हैव टू डू फायर फाइटिंग अ लॉट बहुत अलग अलग चैलेंजेस आते हैं ऑन अ डे टू डे बेसिस दैट यू हैव टू रिजॉल्व यू हैव टू गेट अनब्लॉक्ड and you have to unblock your team so that you have to communicate with a lot of people understand different requirements and deal with challenges head on each and every day there are you know different documents that you publish to different people who are depending on your product to your senior managers to your leadership to different uh, organizations for that matter kyunki product ko koi data chahiye hoga finance ko koi data chahiye hoga business ko koi data chahiye hoga aapke senior leaders ko koi data chahiye hoga jiske hisab se you have to furnish all of that information to them on a day to day basis uske alawa bahut sare aise alag alag kaam karne hain aapko apni team ke liye kaam karna padta hai unko promote karne ke liye aapko bahut kaam karna padta hai as a result i would say that from a work life balance perspective because sd work is so planned out and planned out by you it is much easier to maintain that harmony as an sde with respect to that of an engineering manager and last but not the least one of the major things and major differences from a mindset perspective of an individual contributor of an sde software engineer with that of uh, an engineering manager is that as a software engineer right you tend to think about the work that you are doing and you tend to complete that work that you are doing and as long as that is getting completed in time you are happy however as an engineering manager that's not the case you have to think about the entire product as a whole and generally jo projects uh, aap karte ho right usme sirf uh, ek team ka kaam uh, hota hai aisa nahi hota hai generally uh, the projects that you tend to do there are like a lot of teams that are working on those projects and as a true leader as an engineering manager as a true leader you have to understand and take care of the entire product sirf aapki khud ki team ka jo work hai wo khatam ho gaya to aapki responsibility khatam ho jati hai aisa bilkul bhi nahi hai one of the most important criteria to understand the effectiveness of an engineering manager is whether or not they are able to deliver projects in time and a project ko deliver karne ke liye सिर्फ एक टीम का अगर काम खत्म हो गया तो प्रोजेक्ट डिलीवर हो जाएगा ये तो होता नहीं है सो यू हैव टू कोऑर्डिनेट विद मल्टीपल डिफरेंट टीम्स हु आर वर्किंग इन योर प्रोजेक्ट अंडरस्टैंड देयर चैलेंजेस ट्राई टू अनब्लॉक देम एज मच एज पॉसिबल क्योंकि बहुत सारी परेशानियां अर्जने आती है और आती रहेंगी आपका ये काम है कि उन सारे परेशानियों को एक एक करके दूर करना जितना हो सकता है सो दैट यू कैन गेट द वर्क डन इन टाइम as a result you need to think as a leader you need to think as a tech leader and understand the requirements of the entire product and not just your team in the end i would say uh, whether or not i am disappointed with the role or whether or not it is what i had expected it to be to to, to be honest right it is uh, what i had expected it to be obviously it does not mean that uh, there are no challenges for that matter there are challenges like left right and center um and i am learning uh, on a day to day basis as much as possible and as much as i learn i'll i'll try and share it with you guys definitely uh so do you know keep watching my videos and you will definitely learn a lot through my career through my mistakes through the things that i'm doing right and the things that i'm doing wrong uh, so that you don't make those mistakes um uh, in general i would say that i am not at all disappointed it is a very challenging role uh, and continuously learning new things and new skills for that matter and it's definitely very exciting uh, the team that i mean the work that we are doing is also super 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 exciting and uh, as a result it has been an enjoyable journey for my, for me till now uh i would say that uh, i really hope that the comparisons that i made with respect to a software engineer with respect to an engineering manager will help you in deciding what to do for yourself iske alawa do comment down below agar aapko ye janna hai ki what are the expectations that an engineering manager that a hiring manager has from different uh, people who join their team as a sd1 who join their team as an sd2 who join their team as an sd3 and so on and so forth i can definitely make a detailed video on that Apart from that if you are interested to know more about my journey then stick around with the channel uh, like this video if you like my content uh, the like target is 1.5000 likes so smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already uh, hit the notification bell it will definitely help the, help out the channel a lot and uh, share this video among your friends and peers this is your host somya jit bidding goodbye das vidanya